What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. What I do here is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a very practical degree so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day to day life and get real, actual results with what it is that I am teaching here. Okay? Now, if for some reason you are new to my channel, I know a lot of you are reoccurring. If you're new, let me give you a little bit of an understanding of who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from, which is very important, okay? My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I'm fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck, and I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology, okay? Now, what is the topic of our today's video? This is going to be a topic that is going to zoom in on a specific entity that goes along the the name, that goes with the name Marbos. Okay, so specifically, I am going to be speaking about an entity known as Marbos. This is one of the Ars Goetia demons, and I am going to be sharing my own personal experience of Marbos. Because I've had my own recent personal experience with Marboss. And I want to explain a little bit of my perspective on what I was able to gain and learn and understand within myself that is directly connected to my invocations with Marboss. So if you want to know a little bit more about the subject, then this is definitely your video. So stay tuned. Okay, so first thing first, you know, I don't really need to go into the generalized breakdown of what Marboss represents in regards to his connection to the 72 Ars Goetia because there's already tons of information out on YouTube that discusses that, okay? The general idea when it comes to Marboss is that Marboss is known to be a easy entity to work with. And when I say easy, I mean something that is easy to process um, for the majority of people that are invoking Marboss or doing any sort of rituals or spells with Marboss. Um, and he's definitely directly associated with health, things that fall along the lines of health, matters of health. Okay. These are the generalized aspects that you will see when you start to study Marboss from, let's say, hypothetically a book or other people that you will for sure come across. You will see that he's associated with these types of things. And the reality is, from my own personal experience, is yeah, 100%, okay, 100%. Working with Marboss, uh, invoking Marboss has been very profound. It is not an intense energy. It's not something where you're going to have to, you know, lay down afterwards for an entire hour just to process the invocation or process necessarily the information that you're going to receive from Marboss. Marboss is a very, uh, I will say like this, a very easy to integrate type of energy. And I think this is why this entity gets the association with it's great for beginners or it's great to work with. Uh, if you're somebody who's, you know, newer to the occult or someone who's not looking for something that's too intense that could potentially shift things very majorly for you. Um, so I will say 100% my own realization from invoking Marboss was that it it was a very clean invocation and it was not super intense. It was very easy to process and I got very clear results uh, in regards to my communication with Marboss through my own unconscious and subconscious and to the entity itself, okay? That's the first thing that I'll say. Now, the second thing that I will cover is in regards to Marboss 
and his direct association with your health, okay? Or your, you could even go as far as saying physical, mental, emotional, psychological, and uh, spiritual well-being. That is obviously directly associated with your health. Um, is there a connection between Marboss and your health? The answer is, from my experience, 100%. Okay. Marboss has a strong relationship to your health. Okay. So, what this means is that Marboss represents a certain area of your own consciousness that is primarily associated with your health down to its root level. Okay. So, as I said, Health can fall along the lines of mental, psychological, emotional, physical, and then spiritual, okay? So when you're dealing with Marboss, and from my own personal experience, Marboss literally takes you to the root of how you're going to really get the most out of your health from a perspective of advancing your health overall or creating some form of longevity for you. Okay. Um, so what does that look like? Oftentimes, what does the root of your health look like? Well, I am somebody who has been certified and technically still is as a professional personal trainer. Okay. Not only that, but I also went to school back in the day. This is probably like four and a half years ago. And my school was also interconnected with nutritional training. So I am somebody, before I even was an occultist, was diving into the anatomy of the physical body and also the nutri uh, nutritional aspects of how you can develop yourself and also maintain health and potentially create longevity, okay? So I may be a little bit different than the average person who maybe doesn't have an awareness of how your nutrition and your physical exertions or physical exercises play a very major role on your entire well-being on all five levels, okay? So I'm going to tell you right now, the root of your health, okay, you listening to this, the root of your health is going to reside within your nutrition, okay? That is literally the root of where it starts, okay? Um, and I have an entire video that is on the Patreon right now, if you're interested, first link in the YouTube description. And this video discusses in very much personal depth of how important your health is in regards to your spiritual, psychic self-development. And I also share two of the most prominent uh, dietary lifestyles that I would recommend you study more on and potentially embrace if you're wanting to really develop yourself in the best way that you possibly can when it comes to psychic self-development, okay? That's on the Patreon, so I'll leave that there. But long story short, if you didn't know, your nutrition, your level of nutritional absorption, your level of being able to you know, honestly, digest what it is that you're eating and absorb the nutrients from it and then process that through the vagus nerve, sending signals to your brain. That is literally the root. This is the foundation of your health, okay? Your microbiome, because you have so many different bugs, you have so many different bacteria of all different kinds residing within your guts. And those bacteria have a mind of their own. So if you are feeding those bacteria, in a way that is out of balance, let's say, or in a way where all the bad bacteria start to overgrow and then overthrow the good bacteria in your gut, this is going to affect you on a mental, emotional, psychological, physical, and a spiritual level. Meaning, you're going to set yourself up for failure because your nutritional state or your nutritional awareness or your nutritional habits are out of whack. They are off. And once again, I'm not your doctor. I'm not your nutritional advisor. 
I'm just shedding a little bit of an, uh, an awareness on how serious and how important this factor is in regards to your successful psychic self-development, okay? Um, so obviously, the root of your health resides in literally what you're eating. This is why the food industry is one of the major industries that is, quote unquote, um, perverted, corrupt, okay? Why we got so many chemicals in our foods, uh, you know, to a degree where it's like, you know, is this intentional? Is there something behind why they're putting so many chemicals in different types of food these days? Yeah, because it directly affects your emotional, mental, physical, psychological, and uh, spiritual state. And obviously, you want to affect those five areas of the individual if you want to completely manipulate them or control them uh, spiritually and psychologically and all the other ways. So with that being said, Marboss will help you get to the root of your health. Okay, this is one thing that I 100% sure know is true and real when it comes to Marboss. Okay, so once again, when you're invoking or dealing with Marboss with the intent of gaining Marboss's wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and power, and then integrating that or downloading that in yourself, you will start contemplating and you will start being attracted to and drawn towards your health. And what is it that you can do in the immediate present moment that will start to change your patterns that have everything to do with your health on a root level? Now, some people, there are layers that you actually have to get through to then get to the root. So for example, if you have substance abuse problems, um, if you have relationship problems, um, even you know certain types of mental problems that have to do with your health, like stressing, chronic stress, because you're always mentally, you know, being consumed by something. Maybe you have a, a video game addiction, and you're just always focused in on a you know a screen for most of your day, playing a video game, and that's taking up all your time and energy. And then when you get off, you just realize you're stressed, you're chronically stressed because you're not giving your mind any time to rest and you're really not giving yourself time to process. These are all different layers to this big onion of your health and there is a core layer, okay? And as I said, that core layer is your nutrition. It's literally what you're eating, okay? Now, when you're working with Marboss, you may find you have to go through a couple other layers until you can finally get to the root. So you, Marboss essentially would show you intuitively and just once again attract you to areas of your own life that are preventing you from getting to your prime state of health. Okay, so that may first start with you need to let go of this addiction, whatever the addiction is, or you may need to, Marboss may influence you intuitively, as I said, you may need to let go of this relationship that you have because every time you're, you're investing in this relationship, you're drinking more or you're taking these drugs or smoking more or you're, you know, you're, you're eating the, you know, you're eating out too much when, when you're with this person. Like these little things matter and you peel back the layers to that onion and once you get yourself to a point where you're isolated to some degree to finally start working on yourself and you've removed all those external things that are potentially distracting you, this is when the energy, the entity of Marboss can really start to dissect some of the root causes of your health. And as I said, this is going to directly fall along the lines of what are your daily habits, what kind of foods are are you consuming and are you doing your own research? Are you doing your own studying? Are you looking into how you could potentially benefit your health? Okay, because that literally, that is the root of your energetic makeup. It's literally what you're consuming. That affects all other areas of your energetic makeup. It starts there on the physical plane. So if you can correct that, root cause or that foundation of yourself, it is going to lead to making all the other layers of the onion, so to speak, much more aligned and much more um, 
precise, so to speak, which will guarantee your success in psychic self-development. Okay, this is a fundamental key that I'm sharing with you. And this is why Marboss is so uh, powerful in those regards. Okay, so this, this was my own personal experience. So how did that manifest for me? When I was working with Marboss, and this is natural, like this is not, this is not woo woo. This is not something that I'm making up because I just heard something that was said about Marboss being associated with health. This is me invoking Marboss, keeping the sigil on my purse and in my left pocket for a matter of days. I can't, don't remember how many. I, I mean, I literally still have it on me, actually. But it's been over a month now that I've been doing this with Marboss. And naturally, I'm being gravitated towards looking into my health after doing these invocations Okay, that I've been doing. And the inv invocations are geared around me improving my health with Marboss because I know that's what he's typically associated with. So if he already carries that archetypal energy, then that's what I'm going to want to focus on. And long story short, as I said, you know, it opened up a rabbit hole of information that's coming from a scientific level that I've been able to dive into. Okay, I've dove into that rabbit hole with my health simply by like going on YouTube and just watching how these videos of health are getting recommended to me. And I find myself in this weird algorithm on YouTube where I'm getting all this nutritional information that is showing me things that I didn't previously know that are extremely beneficial for my health and I've actively been applying them and I'm seeing real life results from them, okay? So my own personal experience dealing with Marboss has literally changed my entire nutritional perspective and even my own personal nutritional regimen. And before I even invoking Marboss, I was eating healthy, you know, I was eating healthy foods, way more healthy than the average individual. But there was also things that I was doing that weren't so healthy and that I wasn't necessarily aware that were that could potentially be affecting my health in a way that's not beneficial, especially for the long term. Okay. And I have made those corrections since I've been doing my research and I'm getting, you know, it's a I'm getting a scientific scientific perspective on the reason why certain you could say vitamins or certain types of vitamins that are coming from certain foods are so beneficial to have in your your nutritional lifestyle to create the proper amount of energy. So, for example, some vitamins that you get from some certain types of foods don't fully take on effect until they are linked with other vitamins that help them uh, absorb in the bloodstream, that help them get digested properly, so to speak. And these are things you wouldn't really understand and you wouldn't know because no one, there's most people in the world today are not disciplined when it comes to their nutritional routines or their nutritional lifestyles. So when you do your own research, for example, like on YouTube, and you start studying from these different professionals that have the physical bodies that show their physical their their professionals and also have the mentality and the lifestyle that sh that backs up what they're saying, you can learn a lot. And ever since I've been invoking Marboss, I've been like hyper aware of my health. And I have made some life changing transformations since working with Marboss, which is clearly communicating to me, Marboss has done some very profound things for me. Okay, that's this is called getting results from your occult practices, getting results from your rituals, so to speak. This is a result, okay? This this has caused permanent change for me, and it can do the same thing for you if you know what you're doing when you're working with these energies. It's not some random mystical thing where you're just going to get healthy by not making a transformation or a change. It's you invoke an entity that has direct connection to your health, right? And then what can you expect after doing invocations of an entity like that? expect to be drawn towards things that can help you further unpack how to better your health, how to better your health. That would be an example of Marboss working through you to help unlock that area of your own unconscious and subconscious mind that is hyper aware of how to make you as healthy as you possibly can be. Okay. And that's a big deal.
you know, and for the younger followers that are listening to this right now, just because you're young, okay, what, whatever, you know, if you're in your teens or if you're in your 20s, even if you're in your 30s, just because you're young doesn't mean that you can bypass your health until you get older. The things you're doing now are going to hit you. Once again, the law of cause and effect, you will be affected by the things you're doing now. Although you may not see immediate results or immediate symptoms or whatever the case is to your daily habits, you may not see it now, but I'm telling you, if you've got habits that are not serving you that you continuously do now and you're you're stuck on that pattern, you're stuck on that loop, those things can hit you like a train and you do not want to get to that point when you get affected by something that you could have potentially changed earlier on before the uh, effect built up and became more profound and then hit you like a train. Okay, You want to focus on these things now. You want to live a long time. I mean, we're, we're in a day and age where this health idea is extremely fascinating because especially if you're in the occult field and you're, you're into occult studies and ancient mythologies, I mean, there is notice of civilizations that had people that lasted hundreds of years in regards to their uh, longevity. And this is extremely fascinating to somebody like myself because obviously in our today's time with all the chemicals that are in the foods and just everything that's, you know, inverted in regards to our, you know, construct here in society, you know, people are dying off before the age of 100. So there's a new awareness that is starting to open up in a lot of people right now in our today's time, 2022. And this new level of awareness has the potential to extend the lifespan beyond what we're used to as a mass collective. And if you actually do your research, you can actually see uh, this is something that was uh, scientifically proven that as the generations go on, the lifespan actually increases. Okay, I think it's only by a couple years, um, but it, it did show that there was an increase as the generations progress. So that means right now, 2022, you know, I would say our typical lifespan is probably around 100 now, okay, for the, the younger generations like myself on average. But then in the year of 3000, that may be extended way longer due to the new technology that we have, due to the new science that we have, and just due to how the mass collective is shifting as a whole, okay? These are things that are, you know, important to consider. And they have been shown in regards to our ancient past that these things are possible. That's what's fascinating. And guess what? What is the root of most of these things? It's going to be, what are you doing now that's going to make your foundation healthy so that you can create that longevity to tap into that, you know, new perspective to live beyond 100? Okay, this, these are important things to consider. Okay, and once again, in regards to Marboss specifically, this is something that definitely came to my mind. Okay, now there is a, an association, a generalized association with Marboss and disease. In regards to Marboss, not only can help heal your diseases, what is a disease? It's a dis ease. Okay, so diseases can be many different things. Remember, there's layers to the onion. When you think of the word disease, that doesn't necessarily just mean, you know, a chronic illness or a chronic thing that you can't change. A disease is a dis-ease. Are you uncomfortable right now? Well, why are you uncomfortable? Is it causing you to grow or are you staying stuck in something? That would be considered a disease. Okay, so Marvos doesn't only just cure diseases, but he can also cause diseases. So, for example, if you're an occultist like myself who utilizes psychic warfare, you can use Marbos in a ritualistic setting to go to a target and block off that target's unconscious and subconscious that has to do with Marbos. So you can block off their ability to be aware of their health. Okay, and guess what a natural byproduct of that's going to be? They're going to develop diseases okay and diseases the longer they go the longer they go untreated turn into bigger things okay most of the time okay so this is what it represents okay this is how it can be used in a way for um, creation 
And then that's the, the other example is how it can be used for destruction. It all has to do with your own unconscious and subconscious. And are you embracing it? Okay. So that was that. And, um, you know, I also noticed some other things in regards to Marboss. Um, you know, Marboss is also associated with awareness of the past, present, and future. Okay. And this also directly ties into, uh, to my perspective and my experience, the whole health idea. Because what this naturally made me aware of was, you know, what was I eating in my past? What were my habits in my past? What are what am I eating now? What are my habits now? And what is that going to do in my future? And you know, with this energy of Marboss, with this area of my own unconscious and subconscious, I was able to really formulate what I was doing in my past and how it led to my present and what I'm doing now that's that I'm, you know, going to tweak that's going to lead to my long term and I can see that. And this is giving me the knowledge of past, present, and future. It's giving me the awareness of what's going to change as I move along, making these changes to my health. Now, this is just from a health perspective, okay? There's also, you know, many other avenues that you can go down in regards to knowledge of the past, present, and future, but I'm just sharing the perspective that tied directly into health as well. But Marboss is associated literally with that area of your own mind that can help you understand past, present, and future. Okay. So that's another thing that was real for me. And I also noticed like right now I've lit literally got these incense that are sitting next to me. These are homemade incense made by me. Uh, I made them with monatomic gold. They're organic, long lasting incense. Each one lasts about an hour. Uh, as I said, they're made with monatomic gold. They have essential oil mixed with dragon's blood. Um, and I have them all right here, and they're all drying out currently. Some of them are done, some aren't. And I plan on selling them once they're dry. And this was an idea that just came to me. You know, like I never ever contemplated making my own incense and making it in a unique way that no one else is doing. Like I never thought about mixing monatomic gold in with my incense sticks. Oh, and also in the, uh, the, the pan that I soak them in, I have crystals. So I'm charging their uh, energetic base as I'm soaking these incense sticks. And as I said, this never came to me. This was, this was random. This literally came to me in the period of time that I was invoking Marboss, like in the consistent invocations that I was doing, this idea sprouted out of my own unconscious and subconscious and came to my conscious perspective. And I acted upon it. And the only observation that I can take from this idea that, that came to surface is that this had something to do with Marboss. Okay. I, this was a very creative and a very unique idea. Um, and there definitely is a connection to this random idea that I had that is a great idea. And it's amazing because incense are so important in regards to the occult field. I mean, throughout my entire initiatory progress and my entire occult journey, I've been using incense. Now, specifically, I was using just dragon's blood. And I never thought about what if I take an incense and I charge it with monatomic gold, literally mix it in with the formula. And then I make my own occult formula using the uh, two essential oils, or excuse me, one essential oil mixed with dragon's blood. So I'm still getting that dragon's blood energy, the dragon, the serpent, and then I'm mixing it with an essential oil, okay? A specific kind called dream, which is associated with sexual energy, which is a formula for the occult, sex and the serpent. That opens up the hidden doorway, okay? And I never thought of this or to charge it with my crystals either. And it just came to me and it's an amazing idea. And if I'm going to be using incense, I might as well be using the finest, most powerful incense that I can get my hands on. And as I said, this was, this idea came to me literally while I was working with Marboss. So that's another benefit. And I don't know exactly the traditional association to Marboss and how that 
connects to these incense. But one thing that I can tell you is that since I was invoking Marboss, this idea came to me. So obviously that's something that I feel like is worth sharing because you may have your own experiences, creative ideas come up. And this also may have some sort of connections to past, present, and future as well. Okay. Um, so yeah. So that's my generalized perspective on what I've been able to receive from Marboss in regards to how Marboss appeared to me. He appeared uh, similar looking to an Arab man, okay? Kind of different than what traditionally people will say. Um, to me, he appeared as this Arab man who was carrying a lion's head. And the lion's head was like a head that he could put on himself. Um, and yeah, that's... You know, that's how he manifested for me. And keep in mind, this is subjective. So this is going to change for every single individual. But this was the type of archetype that I was able to tap into. He was like an Arab man. Um, he was fit. He was cut. Um, I would say in his 30s to mid 30s, uh, he was dressed in sort of what to me looked like Roman clothing, like Roman rags, um, white Roman rags that were short so he he had like a a warrior look he definitely had this warrior look to him um from my experience and he had very short hair and yeah honestly that that's what i got from it and as i said he was carrying a lion's head representing his association with the lion okay um and you know, another thing that I do want to mention within this video is that he definitely has connection to um, shape-shifting. So I remember doing my invocations, he was telling me to transform into his image. So for example, when I did my invocations, he appeared to me the way that I saw him. And then after communicating with him a little bit, he would influence me to transform my image in regards to how I view myself into his image so that I'm an image of him communicating with him and what he said the reason why he said to do that was because it's going to help you download the energy it's going to help you take on that entity and process it within your own unconscious and subconscious and this is something that he said you can take advantage of as you use this technique of shape-shifting. So for example, and this is a big secret, this is like an occult secret, when you want to really get a lot out of invocations, if you have the ability to psychically see forces, you can shape-shift your energetic structure into the force that you're invoking, and that's going to help you download that energy into your energy field, okay? And this is something I learned from Marboss, and then he also helped me shape shift. I mean, he's very, yeah, he's definitely connected to shape shifting because naturally I was shape shifting a lot. And it makes sense as to why that is because when we're talking about archetypal energies, I mean, like when we're dealing with the Ars Goetic uh, demons, yes, they're, they are their own entities that exist in their own evolutionary way. At the same time, they have their own direct connections to our unconscious and subconscious mind. And because of the 72 Ars Goetia with their generalized properties that are associated with them, that creates an archetypal structure for that energy. So, for example, if this, the Book of Solomon and the 72 Ars Goetia, or if the Arthur Edward Waite book with the Ars Goetia listed out, if it's going to say that this force has association with shape-shifting or health or knowledge of past, present, and future, yes, there may be connections astrologically as to why that is as well, but not only just astrologically, there's an archetypal significance to all the people that are reading this information and putting that into the entity itself, like Marboss, like shapeshifting. Everyone reads the, the, the label on Marboss and you hear he can help you shapeshift. That creates an archetypal strength or an archetypal uh, resonance for the energy of Marboss. So when you go to do your invocations, you will have the experiences that are also documented within these books, oftentimes because there's an archetypal imprint of that energy, which is Marboss, okay? 
outside of just the astrological reasons as to why that might be. Okay, so a lot of different factors come into play when we're talking about these different types of energies. Okay, but once again, that was my experience. I thought I would share it mainly because, you know, I, I had some profound experiences and I think it could definitely offer you a lot of value. And I think it just in general will offer value to people just consuming this content, listening to that, you know, listening to this type of information. You know, you can apply it in your own practices and you can just gain a better understanding of just the Ars Goetia in general and how they operate and how they connect to yourself. And in this video specifically, Mar Boss primarily, you know, for this video. Okay. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more where I share my personal experience uh, with these types of entities, uh, definitely hit the likes, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button and go down into the comment section and let me know. Okay, let me know you enjoyed this type of content. I did one that was called um, Tiamat. This one's gonna be called Invoking Marboss. Let me know because, you know, obviously, you know, the way that I'm approaching the occult field is like a scientist. I'm doing it to experiment with myself and see what is becoming manifest around me. And I'm already an advanced occultist. Okay, I've been doing this for a while now. So I'm a very uh, profound observer and I like, I, I gain joy you know, I gain so much value from really observing how these forces are manifesting in my life as I'm working with them. They're, I mean, I'm gaining value from it. I'm ga gaining power from it, understanding wisdom, knowledge, you name it. And uh, once again, it's also offering you value, which is a win-win. So if that's something you want to see more of, as I said, drop in the comments and let me know. Okay. Also hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can. And obviously you do not want to miss out with content like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're consuming my content and you are not yet subscribed, I am telling you right now, you are making a very big mistake. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to get the most out of this content, you should hit the subscribe button because you're going to energetically link into my YouTube channel. And yes, there is an energetic connection between you clicking that subscribe button and getting the most out of these videos. If you don't believe me, don't believe me. Okay. Um, and I also want to say this, you have my full permission to copy and paste this link and send it out. Okay. Send it to family, friends, social media platforms, you name it. Okay. If you feel like someone or something else can gain value from this type of information, you have my full permission to share it. Okay. Uh, my intent is to spread my content like a wildfire. Okay. So that's what I'm going to say. Now, I also want to say, if you want to check me out on social media and see some of the unique things that I do on social media and what I post, come down here and add me right there. That's my Instagram, okay? It's super easy to type in, J-E-R underscore 477. Literally takes a second. If you want to see what I post there, check it out, okay? Now, I also want to say this. If you would like to gain access to a private Facebook community, okay, there are 350 plus members now. And it is active on a daily basis. And I will say this myself. There is valuable information that gets posted on that Facebook group. Okay, very valuable information. If you want to gain access to it, click the little drop down, that little uh, drop down arrow you see into the description. Scroll down just a little bit and you will eventually come across a post that says private Facebook community. Right below that post, there's a link. Click the link. Follow the link where it takes you and request to join and I will add you in, okay? And you can stay in as long as you're not chaotic, okay? Because I have removed people and I will continue to remove people if you're getting out of whack, okay? But other than that, request to join. So with that being said, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your awareness to the most important link that is in the entirety of the YouTube description itself, okay? Click the little drop down. It's the first link right there. You definitely can't miss it. It says my Patreon. This is obviously going to take you right to my Patreon. Okay. On my Patreon, there is an entire vault of exclusive occult content that is not on my public YouTube channel. And that is for many different reasons. This is going to be more so advanced information, advanced content. Okay. 
Um, right now, there are 170 members plus, and it is continuously growing, and it's thriving. I have content that ranges from live streams, um, blog posts, occult practices, and videos that are similar to this one, just a little bit more in depth, okay? A little bit more advanced, as I said earlier, okay? Uh, for tier three and up, you gain access to an entire magic training course, which is absolutely beneficial if you're a beginner trying to get started in the occult field with psychic self-development, it's a great place to start, okay? It teaches you the tools you need, you know, general practices that you need to utilize to help yourself start developing psychically, everything in that nature, tier three and up, okay? Then for tier four, this is the top tier of the Patreon. Not only is it the top tier, this is the most popular tier of the Patreon, and that's for many reasons. This is called the Universe B Vampire Service. Now, what this means is that on the 29th of every single month that has a 29th, I perform a ritual myself that is advanced, takes me a while to perform as well, and it's designed to transform the energetic structure or the energy field of all of the participants who are top tier members, who are Universe B vampires. And what it does to your energy field is it makes it more Universe B dominant. So what this means is in regards to Kabbalah and the Kabbalistic tree or the multiverse, there are two sides. There's a Universe A and there's a Universe B. Majority of the human species exists in Universe A. If you're an occultist, you exist in Universe B, okay? So what I do is I shift your energy field to be more Universe B dominant, and the way that manifests is you become more receptive to your own unconscious and subconscious, as well as chaos and dark energy in your environment around you, so that you can process it and turn it into your own power rather than being affected by it in an unbeneficial way where it could potentially harm you. That's the majority of most people, okay? And this service really does work. It's profound, and that's why there's a lot of people taking advantage of it. So I'm going to leave it there. If that's something that you are interested in, obviously, first link in the YouTube description. That's it. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to give a special shout out to all of the Patreon members specifically for taking your knowledge, practices, studies to that other side. Okay, huge shout out to all of you. Now, this is the second link I want to take your awareness to. This is the second link in the YouTube description. You can't miss it. It says book here. This is where you can book a tarot card reading with me. Okay, now in this tarot card reading, I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are on the Kabbalistic tree. Okay, so because I'm a professional occultist and I understand Kabbalah more than almost anybody. I don't know anybody like myself that understands it the way that I do. Uh, very, very few people, I'd say. Um, I can pinpoint where you are on the tree, okay? I can tell you what you're feeling, experiencing, and going through in the present moment and then tell you what to expect in your near future and your long-term future based on your placement on the Kabbalistic tree and where you're headed, Okay. There are tons of people that take advantage of these readings as we speak. I've got like five people that are booked right now that I, I'm getting to every single day. Um, and I've done well over 300 plus readings. I get tons of amazing feedback. So if you want to take advantage of it, second link below. Okay. Now, this is the third link below. This is what I want to make you aware of. In the third link below, right in that description, can't miss it. This is where you can become a YouTube member. Okay. Now, as you become a YouTube member, you gain many different types of benefits. You get a badge that appears next to your name. Your name appears as green. You get entrance into the community, tons of YouTube members. Um, you have access to leave special questions during live streams. You get a special shout out as well during live streams. But most importantly, you gain access to the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program. Okay. Now, this is a emoji program that I've designed myself where I've made my own emojis that are based on occult principles. So the tarot deck, Fibonacci sequence, and the chaos force, okay? And you can use it in a certain configuration that you, you learn once you become a YouTube member. And it is literally the most simple form of utilizing psychic warfare in a way that you can direct at a target of your choice, 
Okay, so it's literally the most simple form of using black magic on another individual. And you once you get good at it, it can literally take you five five seconds to type it out, and it does cause energetic effect. Okay, there are a ton of people that are utilizing it as we speak, and there are over a thousand posts of people that are using the system. Okay, so I'll leave it there. If that's something you would like to take advantage of, then obviously check out the third link below and become a YouTube member. Okay, now with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.